At a time when transgender rights are under attack and bills banning drag performances are popping up around the country, San Francisco just made a big statement. The city appointed the first drag laureate in the country. And our Jose Martinez introduces us to the longtime performer who's very eager to define a new role as an ambassador for the drag queen community. It was definitely an exciting day here at the LGBT Center as a group of residents gathered to celebrate Darcy Drollinger's appointment as the San Francisco's first drug laureate. They say this sends a message of inclusion and acceptance. Excitement fills the air here at the San Francisco LGBT Center as news spreads about the appointment of Darcy Drollinger as San Francisco's groundbreaking drag laureate. Well, I'm also so grateful to be the very first drag laureate of San Francisco and the very first drag laureate ever. Darcy is already a vocal advocate in the community as the owner of Oasis, a popular LGBTQ nightclub and cabaret in the south of Market neighborhood. She also started the nonprofit Oasis Art, supporting the work of queer artists in the Bay Area. The pandemic hit, and then all of a sudden, everything disappeared. And, and that's when we had to think outside the box. And that's when Meals on Heels was formed. That's when we created the streaming um, site so we could entertain people, so we could be that sparkle during that very, very dark time. And we could also employ the drag community who suddenly didn't have jobs. The position has a duration of two years and includes a $55,000 stipend. It was established following a 2020 report by the LGBTQ Plus Cultural Heritage Task Force as part of San Francisco's LGBTQ Plus Cultural Heritage Strategy, a series of initiatives aimed at preserving the city's queer community. Mayor London Breed's decision to appoint Darcy carries significant weight, especially in light of the recent challenges faced by the transgender community across the country. Darcy is incredible, and it's also really wonderful that San Francisco is celebrating drag queens right now as drag across the country is being attacked. Honey Mahogany, an activist, politician, and social worker, tells me she hopes that Darcy's appointment can serve as an example for other cities and states. We're seeing drag bans, um, you know, drag queens being banned from performing in public. Uh, you know, it's, it's quite a scary thing because we also know that those drag bans are not only hurting drag queens, but um, some of them were written so broadly that they could impact trans people or gender nonconforming people um, as they're, you know, going about their daily life. That's why Darcy says she will champion drag as an art form, foster cultural dialogue, and amplify the unique perspective of the LGBTQ plus community. San Francisco won't be the only city for long. West Hollywood has created a drag laureate program but has not yet announced a selection. In New York City, council members introduced a bill to have a drag laureate there, but so far they have not been successful.